I'm going to repair a leg on a coffee table, just exactly like any dining room table or end table. These uh, people that made them have made them wrong. They've got the hole right here. And what they do is they crack really easy. So I'm going to take them off. And I'm going to make one out of plywood. This one is made out of 1x4 pine. Basically the cheapest thing you can use. No. That's how easy it is to just take the leg off of any piece of furniture. Right here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bust this old gusset out of here this a couple of ways, either with a hammer, like this. Take a look here. I'm prying it with a screwdriver. I'm just putting a screwdriver in there to wedge it and break it. And one, once I've got that started, I'm going to do the other side the same way. Like this. And now I've got it loose. It should come out pretty easy. <coughs> I'd like to show you where it broke. <coughs> where it broke and how it's failed. They've countersunk the bolt. If you remember the bolt was in here. What they've done is they've compromised the piece to the half of the thickness of it when they should have left it this thick and it would never have a problem with it. So I'm going to show you relatively quickly how to replace this stuff. This one is glued in and it's also It's also got some nails in it. Actually, screws. Okay, now let me show you how to get this off. If you look on the back side here, there's four screws holding this. I'm going to back them all up. You see, another thing is he's countersink these screws. And when you're countersinking a screw, you're, you're breaking. Bring this piece into the garage and make a new one. On the table saw, take what I've got here is a little bit of a pyramid wedged piece of wood made out of pine, and I'm going to make one out of plywood. Okay, these things are breaking. See how far in that thing is countersunk? Well, it doesn't leave anything left. See, see the one crack in it? It doesn't leave anything in. Look at look at how it breaks this thing apart. It's just junk. Look at the bite here. From there to there is all the screw can go in. When it should come all the way out to the outside. And I'm going to go in the garage. I'm going to make a new one of these pieces. A lot stronger out of plywood. I've got me a piece of three quarter inch plywood in my table saw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this piece. See, I've already got one cut off. What I did is I took one cut off to get rid of the scrap. So that's my first cut. And then the second thing I'm going to do is measure like this and put this through here. But if you see here, I'm going to make my piece smaller than the original piece. So that way we won't have to countersink these. By making it smaller, we're pushing it in closer. And let me cut this out here. While you're making them, you don't want to touch that saw when it's moving. 
You probably saw me stand away and pull it back. I would never do that with a saw running. While you're at it and you're doing this, you might as well make multiple pieces now. So later on, you can have at least one extra. You want to replace all of them. So I'm going to get busy and get this next one cut. going at 7,000 RPM, so it's it's still winding down. I love my power tools. Okay, that's out of the way. Now, I'm going to get rid of this and put the chops off. Okay. 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 okay, now, I'm going to make a piece so I'm gonna I'm gonna make mine larger than that piece because a little larger is gonna be a little stronger. I guess we just might as well cut them all while I'm at it. You still wanna wait for that saw to stop spinning before you go into it. to crop the it just adds for a, a slightly nicer I want to move those pieces of wood but I want to make sure okay now let's take these two pieces in and see what we can do with them okay I've got my new block and I'm going to try to fit it in here uh oh there's a nail in the way right here from before well you just take your hammer and just pull it out and here you want to set this in place and I want to make a mark right here that's the height of the leg here if you see here okay I'm gonna dry fit my block I'm in the house here see how it's gonna fit in there and if there's any obstacles in the way like a nail here get that out and then I'm gonna fit it down there See how it fits across here in a nice 45 and it's kind of tight here? That's how it's supposed to fit. And I'm holding it tight and now I'm going to make a mark right here. And the, this mark is the end of my leg right here. You see that? So if I pop these out, it shows where my leg is at. Now I have to transfer these two little holes here. And that, that's pretty easy now that I got my mark. I just make two marks like that. These do not have to be perfect because if they're a little off, it actually will help tighten up the leg. So now I'm gonna get a drill and drill these two. Now when picking a drill bit, you take your bolt and you just kind of hold them close to see that you got the exact size that you want. It doesn't matter if it's larger or smaller. Now look, when I drill, I tap that drill down a little bit so it doesn't try to scoot around. And then, if, if you see, I have something behind it so I'm not going into the carpeting. Like I said, I, I like to give it a little bit of snug. Now, it's just plywood, so that's one of the pieces of veneer coming off. Now, I'm going to ream these holes a little bit with the drill so I, I can get the bolt through easier. These are all simple carpentry tricks. Okay, now I'm going to dry fit this again. Look, I'm going to put this piece on first, this piece, and I'm going to run these bolts through here and try to line them up. Now, I actually don't have to do it in the piece. I can do it just holding it in midair here. See, I got the one started. get the other one started here it is watch here just get it started in here okay and I'm lining these two bolts up now and now I'm gonna fit them in here 
and get them as close as I can by hand first. Different legs have different types of bolts. Some of them have hex nuts bolts and some of them just have screws. Now I'm kind of lined up. Now because I've done this before, I'm going to do the next step. I'm going to pop this drill off. I'm going to start those screws. Right here, I'm going to just put four of them in. You don't want to go too deep into the old lumber. But it, with starting a screw head, sometimes you have to start it flat and then bend it over. Now, the next step is to get a very good quality glue. And you put it on both surfaces if you want it to stick. I like these flat tops because you don't have to rub it around with your finger like in the old days. Right here. Now that's good, but you also want to put glue on both surfaces because this way it's going to really lock it up there and stick. Now, if you see here, I'm not putting glue on the leg because the leg continues to unscrew out. Okay, we're ready to slip this back in because I've dry fitted it. And now I'm going to tighten them up quite a bit. See how sloppy they are and then there. Remember, I made this piece smaller than the original piece, so now I don't have to countersink these screws anymore. And that was one of the biggest problems. Take a look here. This is how you tell you what you want. And I'm tightening up the leg, and you can tell that it's not tight yet because it's got a lot of play. And as it gets tighter, the, the play gets less. Like right there, almost. Now, before I tighten it all the way, I'm going to go ahead and anchor my screws back in. Remember, I got it pre drilled. And you want to make sure they go straight into the side of the piece of wood, not into the leg. That's good. And these are very strong drywall type screws. Now all I have to do is tighten this up and I'm done with this one leg. A little tighter. And look at this. Look at how it doesn't move now. Look at you move the whole table before it moves. That's what you want. Now I'm gonna do one more thing to this leg. Because as long as I'm working on it, I went out and bought a, a pair of coast uh, sliders, gliders, real inexpensive little thing with a nail on it. And um, basically you just nail it anywhere, it's going to really improve the sliding of this. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and finish my table here. Okay, now I've got my table back. It's stronger than ever, stronger than before. You can slide it around now. me another 20 years.